Hello YouTubers, this is KJ6EPL here with a video update on my Onigo Fly hacking project. For those of you who are watching on YouTube and haven't read my blog, I have embarked on a project to get this flyable with this or any other PPM transmitter such as a Tyrannus for example. I'm just using a Flysky i6 because, well, I'm cheap. Anyway, I don't need to explain that this has earned a rep this drone here has re earned a reputation for being a waste of money and just a piece of crap that doesn't even remotely perform to its specifications. This, however, is largely due to software crippling. You see, the flight controller in this is actually a modified PixHawk PX4 and you can even connect it with the USB port on the back to Mission Planner. The reason position hold doesn't work, well, aside from the crummy excuse of a GPS antenna, that may be a future mod I do, is that the PIDs are pathetically tuned, and my goal is to not only get this flyable, but auto-tune it and get all those functions working. We'll see what I can get it to do. Anyway, I have made some progress and I wanted to show that. I have successfully installed the um, Flysky FSA8S micro PPM receiver. However, because I've done the 10 channel firmware hack on this radio, I have to use iBus. So there's a couple extra steps that I'll have to do. Uh, if you want the 10 channels, and you don't want to do the firmware hack and mess with IBUS, I believe Flysky has released an updated version of this transmitter. I think it's like the i6X or something to that effect that has PPM working to 8 channels and SBUS and IBUS working with 10 channels. 8 is really all you need, but that firmware hack gives you 10, so why not? Anyway, let me go ahead and power this on. I do have the receiver wired up to the flight controller PCB, and I do have it receiving commands. I have not actually got a flight in. It wants to flip over, and I'm debugging as to why it doesn't want to fly. But I'll demonstrate that I would demonstrate in the meantime um, the drone arming and the motor spinning up via the transmitter. So I'll go ahead and power it on. And it's powered on. You can see, you can see the um, little LED on the receiver blinking. Go ahead and turn on our transmitter. You can do that in any order. You can turn on the TX first or power on the drone. But anyway, you can see the light has gone solid. We are now bound to the FlySky transmitter. Now, because I'm using iBus, as I explained. You have to manually switch this receiver each and every time, or at least I haven't found a way to permanently put it in IBUS mode. And to do that, you hold down the bind button for two seconds until the LED blinks and go solid again. Okay, we're now in IBUS mode. So now we'll go ahead and arm the motors and spin them up. And there you have it, the Onigo Fly receiving commands from a standard PPM transmitter. I'll keep you posted with updates, and of course, hopefully, a flight video once I've figured out the quirks. Bye!